I'm gonna do a preface to this later, but right now I just want to show you because I've got part of my haul right here and I am super excited because they were only meant to get here on the 15th and now they're here and I can post an extra video to celebrate my 100 subscribers on one year anniversary and I know I'm speaking a million words a minute but you can slow the video down and I have no time to spare because I have things to do so without further ado let's open these up and see what I got um I haven't bought like this many books since I was turning 15. Uh, I stopped reading for a long time since I uh, got into college, but then now I've graduated and um, now... Oh. <laughs> These aren't my books. I've been bamboozled. It's my mom's books. Here they are. <laughs> All right, everybody. Happy channel anniversary haul. Oh my God. There's so much in here. Hi everybody. Welcome to Be an Enigma. And today is my first ever book haul. There was a lot of sales on Amazon the other day because soon our government will try to up the book prices. We have a campaign going on, it's called hashtag Defendo Vivo. If you can help, I would love you eternally. We really need to get this out there, books are already so expensive here, and if they get even more expensive, a lot of people who can barely afford them now will not be able to afford them. We're really struggling, we're struggling down here. But either way, today's a happy day, we're celebrating the channel anniversary, and let's get some of the books that I bought. I also have another batch of books coming, which is the rest of the um, Vampire Academy that's coming, but they I bought them used, and they're coming in the mail. This box is like in terrible condition, let me tell you from the start. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, so first up we have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is really big. I always scare myself how big um, English books are, but actually it's because the letters are bigger. I don't know why. Either way, I didn't expect it to be so big. This is one. I have Wayward Son as well. Hang on. <laughs> oh, there we go. And Wayward Son. These two. Wayward Son is much smaller. And then we have the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead, which comes soon after Vampire Academy. I really like Vampire Academy and I wanted to keep reading it and they were really cheap and so I got all of them. I think there are six of them. I don't know the title of this one, but it's by Alwyn Hamilton. I'll put the actual title like, down here. It was kind of cheap and I saw the synopsis and it seemed different. I'm on the lookout for books that are not like the ones that I have around. Because I bought a lot of these books when I was 14, 13 and my taste has changed a little bit. I couldn't buy a box this huge of books and not get a Cassandra Clare book, okay? So I got the Red Scrolls of Magic. What can I say? Okay, I'm her bitch. I am. What can I say? I have these two books, they're for a special friend that I bought, and I can't show because they watch my videos. They'll be receiving it when it's time. Next one is Ishizumi in the Crown by Leah Johnson. Everyone has been talking about it, and I had to read it, so I got it. It was kind of cheap as well, so I was excited, and I got it, and I can't wait to read it. Next up, it's the big boy. Relax, it's not just one book. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Just give me a sec, okay? So a long time ago, my friend gave me Throne of Glass. She was doing like a campaign to kind of in 
introduced Sarah J Mass to our friend group. She gave it to me, she gave me that one and the Assassin's Blade. Um, they're still up there in the list of books to read, but in the sale that they were having, they had this box of The Glass Throne. It has all eight books, including the prequel. Did I buy again a book that I already owned? Yes. Was it still worth it with the price? Yes. Another reason I bought it was this. Uh, it came with some special little stuff. So there's the box. Um, there's a side and the back and the other side. I do like to, when series are over, I do like to buy them in boxes. Because I feel like it helps keep them um, like cleaner for longer. So they always have like the image right here and they're black and all geometric. They don't have that thing. And this is something that I normally miss about um, when I buy books in English. This one is in Portuguese, but I kind of miss the flap. You know the flap? I really like the flap. I don't use it, but I like to have it. These are the extras that came with the box, which is this uh, tote bag with this image. I'm still waiting to see what the stag means, uh, because it's in all of the books and the box and this exclusive tote bag. And there's also, if I'm not mistaken, we have some bookmarks, one for each of the books. Uh, they have the image of the cover and the title of the book. It's one for each of the books. And then we have this poster of the character that I don't yet know. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for staying with me through the haul. One of the reasons that I'm reading so much is because I get to have content for my channel and I'm really excited to be reading again. Um, even though it's like a coping mechanism to deal with quarantine, whatever. It's something that it was a large part of my personality and it felt like I missed it and I'm glad to be reading again and to have the desire to buy books again and to be able to share with you uh, these books that some of you have recommended to me. Oh yeah, and uh, if you want to hang out you can go follow me at being underscore enigma at Twitter or you can follow me on Tumblr being enigma and you can feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want to and if you like this video even though there wasn't much to it you also feel free to leave a like and tell me which one of these books have you read which ones do you recommend for me to, to try first and yeah bye